We also have the Raw and SmackDown ratings. So last week on SmackDown, obviously we're building towards Survivor Series, and so this is part of the storyline, but, I mean, when you... I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's the classic ribbing on the square where we're going to bury Raw because in storyline it's Raw versus SmackDown, but we're actually burying Raw, and Paul Heyman's making fun of the booking, but it's going to be a storyline. So Roman Reigns is out there, and he mentions to Drew McIntyre... I have not been watching Raw. Nobody watches Raw. Everybody only watches SmackDown. Well, that is a fact. Friday Night SmackDown, 2.234 million viewers. Up substantially from the overnight, by the way. For all you dorks that are mad that don't tweet out the overnights, I'm doing you a favor here. The overnight's 2.142 million. The final number, 2.234 million. Down a little bit from last week's 2.315. Rating in the 18 to 49 demo, a 0.6 rating. Let's compare that to Raw. Raw Monday night held up all right. 1.78 million viewers. I'm telling you, we're at the bottom of the barrel, everybody. Although this was up. No major <laughs> third hour drop. And obviously, the, this was, the show was designed that way. Because you had the Drew McIntyre-Randy Orton championship match which at first they heavily teased was going to involve a cash-in. And then they did Bray versus Miz, which, by the way, I never need to see that match again. And then that took Miz out of it. And so then they said, there will be no count-outs. There will be no DQs. There is going to be a winner in the match tonight. As it turns out, hour one, 1 1.87 million viewers. Pretty good first hour. Hour two fell only slightly to 1.74 million viewers. And hour three, 1.73 million viewers. Now, that was down insignificantly from hour two. But in the 18 to 49 demo, hour three actually beat hour two. Somebody go find me the last time that happened. So overall, Raw held up well over the three hours, which is good news. But they did get slaughtered by SmackDown. 1.78 million for Raw, 2.234 million for SmackDown. Roman Reigns is right. People are watching SmackDown, and a significant portion of them are not watching Raw heading into the Survivor Series. But pretty good number. You can't do this every week, but this week they did find a hook, and they got people to stick around for that third hour of Raw. Any thoughts on any of this, Mike? You remember the last guy that said that he didn't watch the show on Monday night? Remember who the last guy who did said that was on the show? It was, I think, Craig. Well, it was, <laughs> I meant the WWE oh, uh, I don't remember to do it. It was Brock Lesnar. So this one right out of the Paul Heyman play playbook when he, I don't watch the show, Paul. Why would I watch the show? It's a good point. So Roman Reigns taking that same thing and, and rubbing it in Drew McIntyre's face last Friday. But not any good numbers. You know, we... we saw the bottom of the barrel i think we've already seen the bottom of the barrel uh a, a couple of months ago uh when it dropped down and it was in the 153 range and all that stuff and you know it, the only issue with saying that we haven't seen the bottom is the fact that they set the show up and you had a world title match at the end between drew and randy and i don't know if anybody actually thought the title was going to change or not but that was obviously a draw now what are you going to do next week you know what are you going to do to get people to hold on so three hours is still a rough road to hoe it's a lot of how they space the show out and trying to give some some people a reason some sort of hook to keep them there and obviously miz and morrison isn't that thing but how many times can you keep doing drew and randy they just don't have that many stars so could this number slip back down again absolutely it could if you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.